guys. Happy Australia Day for tomorrow. 37 degrees today. I am absolutely sweltering. Staying at the yacht tonight. Going to be doing a bit of fishing off the yacht as normal. A bit of crabbing. Who knows what we'll do. Get some big live baits and try and get a big flatty as well. Big dew maybe. And hopefully 41 tomorrow. Hopefully we try and stay out of the heat. It's going to be damn hot. All right, we're gonna unload, get out of the get out of the heat for, while we can. Oh, after some mullet, some live mullet here, and the first one we got here is a bloody nice brim. Not what we're after. He's not a bad brim. Yeah, for a bit of bread. Hey, oh, nearly landed on my foot. Oh no, mate, don't go under there. Hook myself up there too. It's really doesn't want to torpedo. There we go. What an absolute beauty. Look at that. What a tidy bit of bread. Just goes to show. Bit of bread, you can get anything. Here, I'll see him go. Yeah, we're hoping to get some live mullet here. Get into some big flathead or dew or anything. First battle is getting the mullet because in these windy conditions it's quite difficult. The broom thing to like the windy conditions, about it. Finally got a pack of mullet here. Let's see if they hang around. We're up to our third mullet spot here. But we just had a big pack at the bread. But geez, they just disappeared as soon as I turned the camera on. Pretty unbelievable. Oh, what a beauty of a gurry. All right, first one. Jeez. That was heartbreaking how long that took. It happens sometimes. It happens. They just don't play ball. Anyway, we got one. Hopefully, there's a big school out there, so. Try those small baits, mate. Jeez, I tell you, they've, I've never seen them so timid. We've got two now. But I think the heat's knocking them around. It's 40 degrees. I think it's, yeah, they're very, not on the bite. Oh, oh, that's a big one. I oh, know, he just kicked sideways and carried on. Smaller than the others. We'll take him. Yep, yep. Ah. So that's starting to happen now. Hit my groove. Coming in one after another. But geez, couldn't get in my groove earlier. I'm using the tiniest bits of bait. Four in a row. Jeez. Took us an hour to get the first one and then four in a row. There you go. Always happens like that with me. Oh god, you got him. <laughs> there you go, mate. Let's see if you can land him. They're pretty they got bony little mouths. Yep, I got another one. Look at them come in here. One after another. Oh, I just landed mine. Don't fall down the side. Yeah. Geez, we've got some baits now. That was quick. <laughs> Build up quick though. Okay, we're gonna get one of these out. Got a 6 -o there. Just gonna pin him through the nose and go for a drift. Hopefully we get a big flat here that'll do, it'd be nice. Go big one. Oh go big sucker. We're gonna have to keep snap ahead or just chuck him. Chuck it. Yeah, it's not very deep along here. Alright, pin through the nose there. Let's drop him down. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might be a big, big, big flatty. Oh, 
took off quick, but so I'm not sure. Very, we're in cyclonic conditions here, but we pushed it on with our live garfish. Jeez, it got smashed this one. What are you predicting? Oh, it looks like it might, it might be a jewel or something, mate. Oh, it might have been a flatty, I thought. I don't know. Did I see? Yeah, big flatty. Big oh. flatty. Nice 70 odd. Oh, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. That's what we're after. Nice big flat box. Bloody deal. Measurement on him, mate. What are you predicting, mate? PB? I think I'm gonna have to say so. He's close. He's close. He's close. About 700. Too big for keeping, we know that. Um, give him a nice, re yeah, we'll give him a nice relief, mate. Hold him up for me. You get you want a bit of a picture with him. Go underneath, so stick your hand under him. Don't never grab on the nut, no, no. just go like that, man. Yeah, put your hand under and then hold the back. No, no, don't never hold the top, just put your hand under and then hold the back. Easy. Beautiful, mate. Work. I think that's my ass. 72. I think you got your PB by two. Bit of camera. Camera action. Nothing. Well, <laughs> thumb suit on me, so I suspect it's a photo. Oh. oh. There we go. Well, it's sitting on me. Ooh, that feels all right. It feels like I'm not a bad possible flathead here out of the deep water. <laughs> it's about 25 metres deep here, believe it or not, in the estuary. It's quite deep. I may need to net here, mate. It feels like it's got a bit of weight. And this is the first fish we've got, so not a bad bloody start. We're just trying this area just before the current, so the current's a bit dead elsewhere. But we'll go to a different spot after this. This feels like a good fish. Oh, it's an eel. Oh. Yeah, deep water pike eel. That, oh, I forget what they I think they're pike eels. But, oh, not what I wanted. Kind of had that flathead fight. Anyway, I'll try and get him off the hook. I should be able to get him off lightly hooked here. Well, that's a sign. Well, it's actually a sign where you do get dewy, see the guys? Yep. Yeah. Like they go hand in hand with dew fishing all the time. So we might give it another bait. Not what I wanted to catch. There was definitely something packing at me, so there's shit down there. Yeah, stuff. Not just this eels and weed. <laughs> eels and weed. It's coming up. Oh man, that could have been the rudder. You reckon? Oh, I don't know. It felt very... Feels very ruddery. <laughs> felt pretty ruddery. <laughs> I'm no expert rudder handler, but you think it even not? Oh no, smaller than before. Nah, it's only a bluey. It's, oh no, he's growing. Definitely not as big as the other one. Bit of a shame. 
I don't think it's a muddy. Oh, it is a muddy. Oh, no, it's just a big bluey. Couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't see in the murky water, but that is a big bluey. Oh, yeah. Not as, I knew he was nowhere near as big as the other thing I had on. Get off there, mate. Somehow. A doozy on him. Oh, he's been in the wars, this thing. Look at the nipper there. I don't know what's going on with that. Frankenstein. A Huge body on him. Big body on him. What a big old crab. He's got barnacles on him. Look at that. What a big old beast. Anyway, I feel he's living a fort. He's heavy. Full of meat. I feel we'll keep that one. Put him on the ice, take him home, beauty. Another one. Oh god. Worst crappy conditions. I feel I got another one. Yeah, worst crappy conditions around. But I'm still landing them. Oh, another one. Not that big, this one. Shall I let him go? Yeah, he's pretty small. Here you go, mate. You're on there, mate. Any sides? Oh, I'm on this one, too. <laughs> What's going on here, mate? Both rods going off. One feels alright. I feel I'm better than a snapper. Oh, Brimbo. Oh, did he? Oh. I feel like it's a reasonable. Oh, yeah. Pop <laughs> the fish. First real fish, actually. They all don't count. Yeah. I'd say it's a Jew. I'd say. That took off. Wow, I just had a good run on the garfish here. I'd say I got a nice Jew here. Oh, it's around that mooring. I don't like look at that. Oh no. Get out of there, mate. Yeah, nice shoe. Not that big, but not too shabby. Nice fish. You gotta be I was lucky to get him in. I've only got eight. Oh, it's 15 pounds this one actually. The other one's eight pounds, so it's lucky. That'd be beautiful. It's a nice one, eh, mate? Yeah, it's nice, bro. Pretty beautiful. Look at that. Not bad off the old yacht. Beautiful silver fish. Chrome has. Look at the garfish he took there. <laughs> Easy wake us up. Was Dra it happening for a while? Yeah, drag went screaming. It was good. So beautiful to see. Well, wow, we could be in for a good session here. We've got the full moon up there. I don't know if you can make that out, but I don't mind fishing the full moon for these fellas, especially these shallow water. I love getting in the shallow water on the full moon. Very happy about getting that hook out. Where's that measure? I'll well, get a look at it. God, getting a bit, bit of an amateur measurer here. <laughs> oh. Nice little fish. Sixty. 
66 centimeters of that. Beautiful. Beautiful, wonderful condition fish. Come on, let's clean. All right, I'm gonna swim him. I'm gonna let him go. What a beautiful fish. Healthy condition. I reckon we might get a few of these here. Just on the garfish. Here you go. All right, let's go for the release, mate. Take a little bit of swimming. God, they're a beautiful fish, the Mulloway. They go hard. You gotta fish correctly for them. Oh, there he goes. Beautiful. How good is that? Awesome. Yeah, for sure, mate. Look at this crack. You you lure a bit? Oh, that's not Yeah? Give this crack. Give this crack. How you going? Good. Yeah, cheese, that your stuff? Yeah, yeah, cheese, bro. Yeah, give it a go, man. Yeah, sweet, let's cheese. Hey? I just can't do it, and I was like... My camera wasn't even on. Whoa. Oh, wow. Whoa, got a nice brim here. Look at the size of this baby. Look at that. There's some stonking brim down here. Look at that. An absolute ripper brim. Oh, 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 he's a big boy. He's a big boy. He's trying to get me around the motor. Oh, what a beast of a brim. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that baby. Whoa, he's a nice brim. Wow. That's an absolute stonker. That's a big one, eh? Yeah. Just 40, actually. A bit over. Beautiful fish. Look at him. Absolute ripper. Alright, we're going to let him go. Second one for the morning here. I didn't get the first one because it was near dark. But lovely. Oh, just dropped him. Beautiful little flathead that was, about 50 centimetres. It's a good little start. I've been fishing for about 20 minutes. Two nice little flatties. Oh, no one here. Flatty, I think. Third one for the morning. Jackie and Jay can't even out of bed yet. And I'm oh he just <laughs> he just dropped it right there. Oh god. Yeah, I caught a couple of squid. Chasing the vibe. And I just had a nice flatty on bugger. Anyway. I got another one here. Two of them follow my vibe up, so I quickly got them on the squid jig. I just had a nice little flatty. About 50, I suppose. It's a big boy. Absolutely. Oh, what big slab baits, if I can land in. Oh, that's a big mullet. Oh, look at that. Look at that for a mullet. <laughs> what a huge mullet. Um, I don't think we can use that for a live boat. Oh yeah, not for a live boat. <laughs> it's just a little bit too big, Jake, for a live boat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a big school there. Big school. Oh, nice little big mullet. Put them in the smoker, these ones. <laughs> Slap Jackie in the head. 
Oh, I don't know, Jake. That's a, <laughs> it's a 35 centimetre job. Still a bit big. Morning, guys. Tell you what, I had some beautiful foot footage of a 66 centimetre mulloway. Shannon got his 72 centimetre PB flathead. And we got some nice fish, flathead and stuff like that. And crabs, everything. And I lost the footage. I lost it gone so yeah i'm devastated but i got young jake out with me today and i got my camera lady jackie with me today and we're getting out big i'm a little bit down i lost all that footage but we caught some lovely mullet this morning so i'm gonna um fill it a couple up because it's a couple or two big and i'm gonna put a really big live bait out as well so hopefully and make it all better and get a monster flat editor or dew would be lovely. All right, let's get the kids out first. The kids and ladies, put a strip out for them. And then um, I'll get the big live bait on. I've got big long strips here. The flathead love these big long strips. Get it down their throat well. It looks like a fish profile going through the water. And it's a really simple method to hook these up. You go flesh side in, don't drive it through the scale because you'll damage the meat and that. And as you can see, it lays perfectly along there. But if it's going along the water, it'll catch a current a bit. It'll spin like a helicopter. You don't want that. Fish don't like unnatural looking baits. So we just give it a little half hitch up the top. And there you go. Look at that. That's going to go off. Near guarantee it. Jake, this one you. Okay, now we're going to get a big live bait out. I've got a slimline 8 hook here. Slimline means it's a bit smaller barb than normal, so I can fish a bit lighter. It's quite a light setup, this one. It's only 8 pound and 15 pound trace, so if I hook up, it's going to be great fun. But clear water, open water, we've got the boat to chase it. You've still got a good chance of landing some decent. You'd be amazed what you can land on eight pound line. How are you going there, mate? Any bites? Yeah, yeah, nice. Good Wait for that big flathead to grab it. Cheeky little squid followed the um, live bait up. Give me a hard time, so I might whack it on Jackie's setup. She's been um, just enjoying the sun, hasn't been fishing, but I can't resist but to put a live squid on because every time they get smashed every single time so we'll get him out there you got it good work Jake well we didn't even need the squid jig after all we had a squid jig but didn't need it get him on the ice do you want some lure scent? All right. Hey, yep. oh. <laughs> good catch. Thank hey. you. Have a good one, eh? Thank you. Okay, too. Best eating size, only small ones, but really good baits. Squid finally went off, finally got a good one. Jeez, we're about to pull the pin too. Bloody hell, pants are falling down. Come on, not a nice flat head, but which is the main thing, this is on the live squid. The weight here. 
Oh, he just dropped it. <laughs> oh, that's my luck today, I tell you. Oh, only eight pound. Mustn't have got the barbie in. I'm only using six pound line here. Would have been a good 70 centimetre job, that one. What a bugger. Yeah, we've been battling. A few flattered this morning. Oh, that was the fish. Bugger. Stole the head off the squid. Oh well, still a bit of bait there, we'll put him back out. Put your curiosity to mind. This is what like in, inside the yacht, guys. It's, it's deceiving, deceiving. It's quite roomy in here. You can sleep four people. <laughs> yeah, it's very deceiving. Really enjoy it, I do. It was the best, best investment I done. Slept on here about 30 times now, I reckon. And yeah, really enjoyed every moment. But yeah, sometimes can be tough, guys. I tell you, I had that phone footage. Second phone I've lost now. Happens when you're filming around water, but three years, two phones now. I guess it's just gonna have to be one of those things, but yep, yeah, I'll have to get a new one. Unfortunately, I had some great footage there. Kicking myself, really kicking myself. Oh well, upgrade time. Better footage for you guys. That 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 was getting a few years old now, so I was holding on to it, questioning whether I should get a new one. And looks like you're going to get the best camera around because I'm going to get a new one again. <laughs> Got no choice. All right, I might go back and cook a feed with that flathead. Might do a flathead soup or something like that. Make a luxe or. or Maybe a Tom Young Goon, I'm not sure. I'll get back and see what I feel like. Got my boy still fishing there. But it's about the end of the day, it's getting close to 12 o'clock. Everyone's had enough. I've certainly had enough. It's certainly been an eventful weekend. Flashback when I'm at home cooking. <laughs> 